What's going on everybody and welcome to StarCraft. This is a game released in 1998 by Blizzard Entertainment and I wanted to bring you guys this game before I play StarCraft 2 uh, because the story of this game is very much essential uh, to what happens in the second game. Uh, so I'm going to be giving you guys some strategies as we go along. Um, to some of the people watching that are probably subscribed to me already, um, you might notice that my voice sounds a bit different now. That's because I've got a new microphone set up and everything should be sounding peachy. Should be sounding way better than it did before. I'm just trying to always up the quality of my videos, thanks to you guys. So anyways, let's jump into StarCraft Original. So I'm going to be making a new ID here and we'll just call it Nevsky. I will be Comrade Nevsky. And you can see we got the different episodes here. We got the Terrans, the Zerg, and the Protoss. Uh, the Terrans are more of the humanoid type characters. Um, the Zerg are more of the reptilian, I guess more of the evil side of the characters. And then you got the Protoss, which are more of the traditional high-tech gray aliens. Uh, it's probably the best way I could describe them to someone that doesn't know anything about StarCraft. And also, if I didn't mention, this is a real-time strategy game. You guys know I love real-time strategy. I'll let you guys read this. Alright, so we've got some aliens appearing from outer space. I'm guessing this is the first time they've seen the Zerg. Welcome to Marsara, Magistrate. The equipment demonstration you requested is prepared and may be initiated at your convenience. Sounds Simply good to me. Simply select Start to begin the demonstration. You may skip the demonstration by selecting Skip Tutorial. Now I'm going to be doing each level um, in its own video, so some of these videos are going to be incredibly short. This first one will probably be less Whenever than 10 minutes. You are ready, you may yes, yes. Start. I'm talking to the audience right now. Uh, but anyway, this is just a tutorial level. We have to build three supply depots, a refinery, and collect 100 Vespian gas. Vespian gas is a resource, uh, one of two resources. So here we go. SCV is the cornerstone of our hostile environment construction and resource gathering operations. Roger that. In order to build a thriving colony, numerous SCVs are necessary. You can build additional SCVs at a command center. Let's move. All right, so basically you click and drag and you can select a group of units. Go, go, go. And you can move your character around as such by right clicking. Uh, this is really just some instruction for those that are not familiar with this type of game. And if you select your units and you control and click one of the number keys at the top, so you hold down control and I say for example hit 2 while control is pressed, now anytime I press 2 it's going to select this group of units. I currently have these guys mapped to 1, so I go 1, 2, and back and forth to quickly switch between my units. Uh, this level's pretty straightforward. All we have to do is build some supply depots to start with. And the shortcut here is B, and you can hit S to build a supply depot. I'm not real familiar with a lot of the shortcuts, um, so you won't be seeing me using tons of them, uh, but I do know a couple of them. BS is pretty easy to remember, of course. And you don't actually have to do any fighting on this map, but I'm going to just because. So if you go ahead and hit A on the keyboard, that will put it into attack stance, and then you click on the map somewhere and they'll all go. You must have enough supply depots to support them. Alright, so we're gonna build SCVs one. You SCVs to build additional supply depots. Permission to speak freely, sir. So there you're fighting. I'm sure you know what you're doing. If you're going to send us into hostile territory, and you want us to defend ourselves, then use the attack command. The attack command. Ignore enemy fire. Go exactly to the spot you targeted, then use the move command. Now, which will it be? And there are some just basic Zergs on the map you can fight. 
Uh, just some real basic units. Just for fun. Not enough minerals. Not enough mana. Alright, so we're going to keep spawning more SEVs. This is basically increasing our population limit anytime we make these supply depots. As you can see up here, we have more population. And one of the gripes I have about this early installment of StarCraft is that if you click this and you set a waypoint on one of these, um, they'll go to it, but they won't actually interact with it, as you can see. So you have to go back and you have to manage your SEVs and just constantly tell them to... Uh, go to the mineral field, which is pretty annoying. If I set a waypoint, they should just go and start mining, but in this game, they don't. They do it in StarCraft 2, and from what I understand, they may do it in the expansion pack to this game, but they don't do it in the original. Let's move. Outstanding. Go, go, go. Let's go. Use the attack command. Go, go, go. Let's move. Outstanding. Rock and I also like that they have a lot of the original voice actors, at least as far as I can tell, they use the same voice actors in StarCraft 1 that they had in StarCraft 2 for the most part. There's some more up here. You're, and this, what I'm doing here is entirely optional, running around killing these Zerg, you don't have to. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and build that refinery we need. And this is just our second type of resource, the Vespian Gas. Uh, Vespian gas is used for more, usually more advanced type of units, or upgrades. Because basic marines, they don't require it. Commander. Our guys are just kind of running around. Another thing you'll probably struggle with in this game is the pathfinding can be just god-awful. Um, the organization of the units is not as good as it could be. Gas, converting it into a form which your SCVs can gather. So it's this is a pretty good game, but it's definitely showing its age in uh, 2014. But some a lot of what I like to do is make sure all my units are grouped up before I walk up a ramp if I don't know what's up there. Uh, because sometimes your guys will just go single file and just get slaughtered. And we don't like that. We don't like having our guys get slaughtered. As you can see, we got more SEVs not doing anything. Come on, SEVs. And I don't like that I can't get them to do several things like you can in StarCraft 2. Um, if you hold Shift in StarCraft 2, you can click multiple things and get them to, say, build a couple of these and then go in mine. Uh, you can set a queue of options for them to do. All right, so we've almost finished this objective. We just have to get to 100 Vespian Gas. This concludes the equipment demonstration. There it is. There will now be a fully catered reception at Marsara Base. All right, is there going to be punch and pie? All right, congratulations, you are victorious. Our first venture into StarCraft was successful. Nevsky dominated the map. And that was completed in about five minutes. So yeah, this is going to be a real short one.